Let's take a look at energy flow in ecosystems and trophic levels. All living things require energy in order to stay alive. There are different models used to show the flow of energy through an ecosystem. The most common models are food chains and food webs. The trophic level of an organism is the number of steps it is from the food chain's original energy. Let's take a look at these steps that are commonly called levels. Level 1. Primary Producers Examples include plants and algae that use photosynthesis to make their food. Level 2 are called primary consumers because they eat other producers. These consumers get their energy from eating plants. An example would be rabbits that eat plants. Level 3 is made up of secondary consumers. They consume level 2 animals, carnivores, who are meat eaters and omnivores are found on level three. Foxes eat rabbits. Level four, this level includes the tertiary consumers. The tertiary consumers eat other carnivores. Golden eagles eat foxes. And finally, level five are called the apex predators and they're at the top of the food chain. They are carnivores without any predators, although they may also eat some plants. A grizzly bear would be an apex predator along this food chain. Decomposers are often left off food webs and food chains. If included, food chains start with primary producers and end with decay and decomposers. Decomposers recycle nutrients that can be reused by primary producers and therefore are essential. A diagram that sets out an intricate network of intersecting and overlapping food chains for an ecosystem is called a food web. It's basically a visual picture of what eats what in an ecosystem. Let's take a look at a food web. The arrows always point in the direction that the energy is being transferred. You have level one producers that include your plants and they get energy from the sun. Level two primary consumers are included. Notice that they get the energy from the plants. Level three also called your secondary consumers, receive energy from the primary consumers. Level four organisms, the tertiary consumers, are included and are capable of consuming any organism found underneath its level. And if wolves moved into the food web, they would be apex predators. Each time you move from one trophic level to the next, only roughly 10% of the energy is transferred to the next level. This is often referred to as the 10% rule. This explains why as you move up trophic levels, there are fewer individuals at each level. Thanks for watching and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.